Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. In previous videos, we covered like uh, PyTorch containers and in this video, we will start learning loss function. So loss functions uh, in general are used to measure the errors between the predicted value. So we have a model and it predicts a value and we have a target value that is given as a label. Okay, and uh, it used to penalize the model if it is predicting way far uh, what is expected to predict. Okay, and uh, loss functions can be categorized in three major sections. Uh, the first one is regression. So regression uh, loss functions are used when the model is predicting a continuous value, e.g. house prices. Okay, given the area, given the uh, uh, floor area, given the uh, uh, build year, uh, we try to predict what would be the house price and it will be uh, something like uh, 100,000 uh, euros or something like that, okay. And the next category is classification loss function, okay, where uh, we use classification loss function when the model is predicting a discrete value, okay. So for example, uh, email classification. So email uh, uh, classification like uh, whether uh, an email is, is spam or not. So it is like whether we want to predict it is zero or one, okay? And then the next is ranking. So when we want to uh, rank some uh, document, let us say, and then uh, we want to compute the relative distance between those, then we use ranking uh, based uh, loss functions, okay? For example, information retrieval. For example, when you do Google search for some query, it lists some uh, documents which are more dominant, they come first, and the remaining comes down okay i hope that should be clear uh, in this tutorial uh, mainly we will discuss about the regression uh, loss function and more specifically we will talk about mean absolute error which is also known as alban loss and uh, mean squared error uh, loss which is also known as l2 loss okay so let us dive in and start coding like how we can implement uh, it in uh, using pytorch also, we will implement uh, simple uh, using Python and see uh, if they are exactly same. Okay, so let us import first PyTorch. So we will say import torch, and also we need uh, NN module. Okay, so we can say from torch import NN. Okay. To understand it better, we have this image. So where we have input and this is our model and then model predicts something like Y predict. Okay. And then we have a target value also known as labels. So if we say like J is a loss function, when we pass Y predicted and uh, Y target, we get loss. Okay. And that's what we will uh, see. Like uh, if you see here, loss X, Y is absolute difference of X and Y where x represents the actual value and y is the predicted value, okay? And this is the, nothing but uh, L1 loss. Whereas mean squared error loss is simply x minus y to the square, okay? Where x represents the actual value and y is the predicted value, okay? So let us implement it like simply um, using uh, Python. So let us say we have a uh, uh, predicted, target is equal to we will simply use torch dot rand n and let us say we want to have two predictions and uh, to run the loss function the backward pass we need to say required grad is equal to true okay and let us say we have target is equal to torch dot friend and we will say simply size two. Okay. So first, let us uh, implement like using a uh, simple Python. Okay. So if we, we'll, uh, I will say um, m a e loss is equal to. So what we will do is, so this is simply like absolute difference. And if there are more values, you just uh, average them. Okay. 
So what we will do is we will simply say absolute. So target minus predicted target and we simply do sum and then we simply divide by target dot say zero. So what we did is simply we do absolute difference between x and y okay and then we simply sum over all of them and then we average it okay so divided by save zero means how many elements are there and msc loss is what we will do we will use power function and we will simply uh, do the difference and then do the sum and then divide by target dot save zero okay and it should be power two so this is like a very basic implementation of uh, 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 mae and msc okay so mean is absolute error loss and uh, uh, mean is squared error loss okay and we cannot use it directly because it requires the differentiation like we need gradients as well when we need to back propagate the errors to train the model so i i um, I implemented them to just compare like uh, when we run it through the actual L1 and L2 loss from PyTorch, we get exactly the same errors. Okay. So let us uh, do that as well. So what we will do is we will say L1 loss is equal to what we will use. We will use NN dot L1 loss. Okay. So now we are using. PyTorch loss function. Then we can simply say L2 loss. L2 loss is nothing but MAC loss. Okay. Now we can simply say a SE output is equal to L1 loss. And what we pass? We pass target and let us see what we need to pass so what we pass we pass input tensor and target tensor so here we need to pass predicted value so it is predicted target and we need to pass that okay similarly we need to pass for msc output as well we need to pass same thing okay now we need to run uh, asc output dot backward okay and the same we need to do for msc as well now let us print uh, this as well as our raw computation okay so what we will do we'll print um mae loss okay and let us print mae out Similarly, let us print ase output print ASE. here we need to say ASE. ASE loss okay so we will simply divide them so we'll say M. okay so these two should be the same and these two should be the same okay okay so let us run and see it
So here you can see like uh, the the uh, loss that we computed is exactly same as the loss I torch I already computed. Okay. So I hope it makes it clear like how they are done. The main thing using uh, the PyTorch loss is like when you run backward, the gradient is automatically computed and you don't need to do that uh, when you run the training loop. Okay. So that's why it is important to use a, a loss function that is coming from PyTorch, not like doing it by yourself. Okay. So this is mainly to uh, show it like how it is being done internally. Okay. Like computation only, not like how we can do the uh, gradient computation. Okay. So I hope that should be clear. In the next video, we will talk about uh, some uh, classification loss functions. So thanks for watching. Bye for now. Take care. See you in the next.